I think there are thousands of miracle makers in the world. I can't identify one. I think all the people that are making a difference in the lives of people that feel disenfranchised, disconnected from society, maybe they're not living in community per se, perhaps they're people that find themselves living on the streets, or perhaps they're wandering from home to home, they're battling some kind of mental illness or an addiction that makes them feel disconnected from their biological family. I think the miracle makers in this world are the people that are running shelters, people that are running soup kitchens, people that are running places like Covenant House in Toronto that is like a shelter for teens that are wandering the streets on those cold winter nights. Those are my heroes and those are the miracle workers of the modern day. There's a time for battle a time for tears. We need these miracle workers, you know, especially around the holidays. I mean, all year long, but especially around the holidays because it's a time when people tend to feel alone. Like they see families together, they see all these pictures of beautiful family Christmases and these elaborate dinners and gift exchange and giving and all this kind of thing, and yet they're wondering why they don't get to participate in that. So these miracle makers, that are making a difference in the lives of so many people, I think of all time, of any time of the year, that is like the most important time for them to be there, making people feel, feel like they're, they're loved, they're heard, they're wanted, they belong, and that there's a place for everyone. And those people make that possible. <laughs>